Am Yisrael, from Moshe Rabbeinu, they only finally began to get the message. Why? Because at the end, they realized once and for all, he's not doing it for himself. He's not doing it for reputation. He's not doing it to gain anything. He's doing it to help us. If you're going to rebuke your fellow, that means that you are supposed to be like Moshe Rabenu. It's supposed to be kindness, not kindness that you're, you know, petting everybody like there's some dog. Not kindness like you're telling everybody that they're really nice, even though they're shaim. No, that's not kindness. That's lying. But kindness, where you tell them the things they need to hear because you're trying to help them. You tell them the things that perhaps are hard to hear. But you tell them because you know this is the cure. Not because you think you know better, but because the Torah showed you this is better. Because you saw it on your own skin. You tried it and it worked for you. You're living it and it works for you. You have something good and therefore you want to share it. And that's another way of emulating Hashem. This is why the Gemara says that someone who does not teach, someone who does not rebuke, someone who doesn't share a Kadosh Baruch Hu's Torah is like someone who doesn't have a God. Because if you haven't gained enough from it, where you realize, I have to share this, it's so delicious, I can't wait to share it with all the people that I can. The ones I love, the ones I don't love. Just simply, it's so good, I want to give it to everybody. If you haven't gotten there yet, you don't have the Torah yet. You may not even have God yet. See, Rabotai Karim, when we're so consumed with our own problems, it's virtually impossible to see the truth. I understand we all have problems, and I'm not saying to ignore it. What I'm saying is, it's a time and a place for everything. Sometimes, it's not your turn. Don't be a baby and say my turn all the time. Sometimes, it's somebody else's turn. Help them. Care about them. It's not just you. There's other people. If we do that, I think it's going to be a little different. I don't know if it's going to solve all the problems. We still have a lot of work to do. But Be'ezrat Hashem is just enough, just enough to make this nightmarish last year and a half turn a little bit to the positive side. Enough disasters. Enough tears from parents. Enough tears from kids that don't have parents. Enough suffering, for a little bit at least. Give us some time to breathe, don't do tshuva. Don't force us in such a painful way. Let's get the message, Rabotai. Let's try to do something different this year. So next time, when Kadosh Baruch Hu sees us and reviews our actions, says, you know what? This time it is different. This time it is. Pesrat Hashem, this time it would be different. I hope that this was enough to motivate and inspire each one of you. At least, I'm going to try to inspire myself. Maybe this will be enough. This will be enough.